Hi everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Fatima and Ola Fashion Workshop. Today we're working on a very interesting project, I would say and not an easy one, but we'll guide you through it. So we are embroidering hats. I know there's a lot of you that think this is probably one of the hardest embroidery job, but we're here to show you a few tips and tricks on how to make it easier. So there's a few steps that you gotta follow through to make sure that you have that perfect embroidery on hat. As you might have noticed, hats are not easy just because of the way their shape is to embroider, but we will show you how to succeed. So here's a few steps. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta set on our embroidery machine the right uh, shaft and hooping for it just so you can embroider easily. Follow me through how we change the brackets into our main embroidery cap frame. Okay, so here we are. Now we are setting up our hoop. As you can see here, we have the red frame angle cap. It's a very sophisticated one from Melco and we have removed those side brackets and then put back the screws on each side now we have to hoop the cap and I'll show you what the next step is. Here we are in front of our computer. I've just pulled the logo that we're going to embroider. This is going to be for a customer today. I would highly recommend if you are trying a new logo that you haven't done before, um, find an old hat or something to try it on. Never do it on the actual piece just to make sure that you have all the settings right. So we're gonna go into the select hoop here after we put the logo and then we're gonna go to WACF which means the wide angle cape frame. If you see the warning right here it's gonna tell you the two ultimate steps to have a great embroidery. You gotta adjust the presser foot height but also adjust the material thickness. You could do it both from uh, the menu or do it right here. So we're going to go at, instead of three, we're going to go at eight for hats. That is a recommendable um, number for that detects the material thickness. And if you see the hope has changed on the screen, and then we're going to go ahead at the menu and change the presser foot, and then we'll be ready to embroider. Okay, next and final step, we have already hooped the hat. We're going to make a whole new video to show you proper techniques on hooping a hat and the proper equipment. It's so important you have both in order to succeed because this can be tricky. So after we've hooped, we've already placed on the machine. See how the brackets match on the red frame cap. Um, now we're gonna have to, we already have set up the um, presser foot and also the um, uh, setting for thickness of the material that we're stitching, which is gonna be number eight on this one. Uh, then we have the design, we have already set up the colors. Now all we need to do is trace and make sure that it's gonna fall right when we want it to be. We've already marked the middle and the spot that we want the logo to be embroidered on this cap prior to hooping, which is also so important. And now we're ready to trace and stitch. Okay, so now we're ready to start. I'm gonna hit the green button and it's gonna start embroidering. guys here's the final product we have just embroidered clean all the threads and this is how it looks like